Treasury bills are one of the best cash investments with a risk-free return of almost 5%. But if you're like me, you've probably been confused before at which rate you're actually getting. Is it 4.7 or is it 4.9%? And how exactly do they get these numbers? So in this video, we're gonna talk about the differences between the high rate and the investment rate and how you can calculate your overall return. So without further ado, let's dive right in. To begin, treasury bills are sold at a discount from their face value. For example, the most recent 17-week treasury bill has a purchase price of $98.45. In other words, I can deposit $98.45 today and earn back $100 in four months. So if I were to deposit $100,000 into these treasury bills, I'd earn $1,547 of interest every 17 weeks. And to calculate our daily yield for this particular investment, we can divide our total return by the duration. 17 weeks is 119 days, so these treasury bills will earn 1.3 cents of interest every single day for every $100 that I deposit. Now the high rate describes the annualized return on a 360 day basis. So if we multiply 1.3 cents by 360 days, we'll get a total return of $4.68 of interest for every $100 that we deposit. This gives us a high rate of 4.68%, exactly as shown on the Treasury Direct website. And this high rate is very important to note because other treasuries like notes and bonds offer coupons. These are semi-annual interest rate payments that offer guaranteed cash flow. This makes coupons incredibly attractive for retirees or anyone wanting a reliable, consistent stream of income. With coupon rates yielding over 4%, the high rate can be very useful to compare yields between different treasury securities. On the other hand, the investment rate is the annualized return calculated on a 365 day basis or five days more of interest. And to calculate this specific number, we'll multiply 1.3 cents by 365 days, giving us a total return of $4.74. Now, if we divide it by our initial investment of $98.45, we get an annualized return of 4.82%. Again, exactly as shown on the Treasury Direct website. And this investment rate is probably the most important number for savers because this is the exact same formula that banks use for their savings accounts and their CDs. In other words, this is the number that you can use to compare with the APYs offered by popular banks like Capital One and Ally Bank on their savings products. For example, a six month CD with Ally Bank is currently yielding 3.4% APY. So if I were to deposit $100,000 into this Ally Bank CD, I would earn $1,700 of interest after six months. Overall, not a bad return. However, I can also buy a 26 week T-bill on Treasury Direct, which offers a much higher rate at 4.89%. So with that same exact $100,000 deposit, I could earn $2,445. That's $745 more interest, and that doesn't even account for the additional state and local income tax savings that come with Treasury bills. And as you can see, T-bills are one of the best and one of the safest cash investments to really boost up your savings. Of course, you can also buy treasury bills on the secondary market through your favorite brokerage platform. And you can easily find your annualized return by searching for the column labeled YTM or YTW. This stands for the yield to maturity or the yield to worst. And this is practically the same as APY. So for example, this one year treasury bill is yielding 4.67% APY. And of course, if you're living in a state with high income taxes like California, the tax equivalent yield of this specific treasury bill is probably closer to around 5%. As always, if you find this type of video helpful, please feel free to leave a like and share it with someone who might be confused as well. Have a great rest of your day and take care.